Oh, my name is Virgil. Visa is Victor, I-R-G-I-L. And last name is Peyton. P is in Paul, A-Y-T-O-N. I am Brooke Nyla Downing Peyton, B-R-O-O-K-E-N-I-L-A dot D-O-W-N-I-N-G-P-A-Y-T-O-N. Oh, my name is Mary Akins, M-A-R-Y. A I K I N S. Hello, 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 hello. Pamela Payton, P A M E L A, P A Y T O N. What are your thoughts about living in Marion Oaks? Do not come here for any breast augmentation. See what happened to me? They only gave me one. Good because there's games like soccer playing soccer, tag, hide and seek tag, hide and seek, tag, tag your eight, football. Well, since I got released, man, uh, they got big, big opportunities as long as you give up value and effort and whatever your career endeavors. And it's a great place to call home. It's a great retirement town. It's peaceful. Um, I enjoy living in Marin Oaks. Um, it's a peaceful retirement community where you get to meet different people from all types of backgrounds. Um, getting involved in the different activities and things that's going on in Marin Oaks will want you to stay directly where you're at, Marion Oaks. <laughs> what do you think of colonies to flourish? You need to flourish on career building skill sets for the younger generation because a lot of retirees are becoming the norm and a lot of the uh, job readiness or jobs that are needed to have skill sets to be ready for them or to fill those capacities, a lot of people retiring. So they need to have programs that have the types of programs to fill those needs with the younger generation. Businesses, I think if they have more businesses um, in Ocala, the county would, would flourish a lot. More stores, more, more stores that's close by, like malls. Malls. We need malls where people can get to meet and join, especially for old people. They can. It's a place to walk without being attacked. They can walk and meet people. Meet people every day for lunch or this or that. They can socialize. It's. It's a great thing for them to do. Instead of trying to be out on their own shopping and this and that, they can do the shopping too. But they be around people and security. Is there anything you think that's special about the city and this community that you think would benefit people looking to move here? They have a lot to offer. Um, like I said before, Ocala is a retirement community, but they have all ages that live in Ocala, so you will always find something to do. What brought me here was the opportunity to live in a rural area. Um, the beauty of it, the quietness, and basically it's a horse country. The peacefulness, a lot of peacefulness while it's, on it, while it's still on a growing pattern. Uh, it's a lot of peaceful areas within areas of the communities where a lot of people get along very well get a lot of got a lot of space that they need room they got a lot of room they have a lot more room than they used to they get a get more for their book in terms of community how do you think this pandemic has affected how we come together and support each other <clears throat> um good because a lot of people care about their people and we are trying our best to um keep people alive <clears throat> um 
in Ocala, I've just seen that it's um, as long as people pay attention to the information, the effect is uh, what level of information has penetrated that brain. That's how you know how we're going to get through all of this here. Um, and the relationships that have been formed is based on people having essential needs. Those essential needs have caused us all to realize that we all need each other and we all go through similar situations no matter what creed or culture you come from. The same way before they came, they everybody stayed to themselves. Everyone else is to themselves. They would come out the garage or they come out the house and get in the car and wave. And it's the, it's the same way. Well, the pandemic shut down a lot of activities, uh, especially for the seniors that they had um, going on every day. That was a day-to-day -day activity. Um, but it's slowly coming back around. It's, it's slowly moving back around. Um, we've gained a handle, like I said, on the spread here by people staying social distancing, distancing and keeping their masks on. So they're really doing a good job. They, they really are. What would you say, in your own words, bring out the quality of Akala? The quality is based on uh, when the community comes together, it's the value that they put in. It's the value that comes out, people that have put in, it makes it a great place to live. Much of it. Very peaceful. And uh, again, the community is uh, very um, active and, um, you know, being together. The uh, picturesque view of the countryside, it, it, it has its own gains by looking at it, but it's so peaceful and quiet here, you know, look, hey, you don't want to mess with the original animals, the mammals, I call them mammals, the bears, you got bobcats, wolves, gophers, you know, don't mess with them. They, they're the ones here, they, they are our neighbors, so you have to learn how to get along with them. I would say, um, the people. So Marion Oaks and all of Akala is about community and giving back. Can you name some ways for others to get involved and where can they get these answers to this process? The best place to get them from is your community. Go to a community meeting, um, and they have a whole outlook on what they provide as far as activities in that community, um, as far as, um, if you go on the Ocala.org website, um, they have a list of activities that's going on throughout Ocala, and because of the pandemic, it slows some of it down, but it's, it's coming back. Our community centers uh, offer those um, uh, initial starting blocks because uh, the community centers are interested in bringing young folks to help get an idea of what they think and how to make each other from the uh, from the adult older adults to the younger adults uh, make them more approachable uh, towards each other and if they can do that uh, it would uh, um, have long stemming effects in a positive way community uh, meetings and and discuss them and maybe they will arrange something for those things to happen because uh, a lot of people don't know and if they don't know they don't know how to do it themselves because hey this is this is not a, a built-up town it's still in its early stages what would you like a color have more of um, transportation system, a mass transportation system uh, that deals and, and, and circles around regional areas or neighboring counties, therefore, that people can have, because especially with the growth going on, a lot of more communities, uh, a lot more housing, so much more going on. So that means that there's a, 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 there's a boom going on in terms of people coming. So with that, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them don't have a, a, a sustainable autumn 
auto transport. So therefore, a mass transit would be the right thing. Sky zone. Sky Whatever it's called. And, um, no. Ice skating and VR stores. Since the Palace is fairly new developed city, we look towards trying new things. What new things do you want to try and see around the city? One thing is the bus system. And they can uh, 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 add a casino. It'll bring more revenue and it'll help build a city. And, you know, possibly uh, get a lot of those other things that we love to get uh, much better. Carnivals. You know, hey. There's a lot of things that can be done in the city. Sky zone, pet parks, um, training for dogs and cats, and uh, parks, sky zone, skating rinks, and VR stores. Well, just more activities for families. Um, they shut down a lot due to the pandemic, but I believe once they get a handle on the situation, then they will open up a, um, a lot of the activities back, like the outdoor concerts, um, the different museums, and opportunities for people just to do family stuff on um, the weekends. Uh, on strip clubs, you know. No, no I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, more social events, artsy type. Um, more uh, opportunities to display quality music, you know, things like that. Arts, entertainment, music. Uh, this is a horse. This is a horse town. Cattle. Nothing more, not much more than that. Today, you, it's diverse with different types of folks coming from all over the country. You need to be able to uh, um, make things adequate for that demographic. Mass transit. Developing a mass transit that um, goes and is available to neighboring counties. Uh, so therefore, that with the development going on and all the new homes and the boom, uh, mass transit would help out with people that come here and don't have feasible transportation.